So today we are reading Shishirada Rasa Sudani. Verse 32. Oh, Shiradike, I want to arrange your meeting with moon like Shah and make a bed for you. In the trysting power, I want your and Krishna's mercy. Please cast a masterful glance on me. She has masterful glance. <laughs> Commentary. Srimati eagerly arrives in the bower, in the kunj, where she had an appointment with Shyam. On Srimati's indication, the maid servant made a blissful bed of fresh sprouts in the Bauer house. But until now, Chama Sundara did not show up. Srimati becomes anxious. Seeing Swamini's anxiety, the Kinkari goes to look for Shama Sundara. Krishna is also overwhelmed by feelings of separation from Radha and has lost the way to the trysting power. Then the wind carries Nada's fragrance into his nostrils. Jam regains consciousness and starts to follow this wind. The maid servant sees the anxious Nagara from a distance and she feels very happy when she sees how eager he is to meet her Swami. She can see his eagerness on his face and in his eyes. Suddenly, Nagara's searching glance falls on our maidservant, and hope brightens up his heart once more. With blooming heart, he approaches her and says, Saki, where is your goddess? I have lost the way to the trysting power, and I am very eager to see her. I am looking everywhere for her. Take me to her, wherever she is. Nagara's anxiety is clearly visible on his face and in his eyes. The maid servant 
likes to see him a little bit more anxious. So she says, O oh, king of lovers, today your hope is in vain. Nagari Mani is staying at home today. Anxious, Nagara asks, Will she not come into the forest today? Maid servant, today her superiors engaged her in housework. Jatila saw Radhika churning water instead of curd. And she thought that she did that because she was overwhelmed with love for you. So she chastised her and kept her at home for today. Krishna says, but Saki, I just caught the fragrance of her limbs. Next seven. Oh, Nagarendra, that's not her bodily fragrance. That is my fragrance. I am wearing one of Swamini's leftover garments that still carries her fragrance. And that's what you are smelling. Nagara believes the maid servant words <coughs> desperately says, Alas, will my cloud-like heart not be illuminated by the Radha lightning today. Seeing Nagara's heart filled with the darkness of despair, the maid servant compassionately shed some light on it by consoling him. <laughs> that is the great of Radhika's made servants. They must give bliss to Krishna, who is bliss personified. Ah. <laughs> Yes. This is the beauty of being the Deva. That is my When I not come in the future, I cannot see that. You are in Mount of Everybody has to talk. I don't want what is the importance we have to do that? Only listening, not working. So Gurdiv says that we should share on this. It's the it's the greatness of King Karibab. She she is not bewildered by Nagara, by Krishna. She is only trying to please Swamini by making him more eager. Krishna is bewildered. He has lost his way, or maybe not. Who knows where he has been? So he is uh, looking for Swamini, cannot find her, and then he had some fragrance in his nose. And the service of the maidservant now is to make him more eager <laughs> because she knows when Krishna is more eager, the meeting will be more blissful and Swamini will be more glorious. 
Because the glories of Swami is to make him so much eager and mad in her love. So that is the assisting of the maidservant of Swamini's desire to please Mohan by giving him more and more bliss. She is not at all bewildered by Mohan, like many other Sakis, because they have desire to meet him and to give her whole existence to him. But maidservant has no such desire. She has given everything to Swami, and therefore she is empowered by Swamini's cleverness and Swamini's love. And she is a shadow of that love, and she is serving Swamini by making Krishna more and more eager to meet her and then showing him the way. So we see maidservants are always increasing the feelings. They never put feelings down. They increase the feelings of Mohan, of Radha's Mohan, and thus they also increase the glories of their swami. That is their service. They are the messengers, and they know how to increase feelings because they are in the servant service of Mahabal, of Swamini, who is personification of highest feelings for Mohan. For this, we are learning how to be in the feelings of a dasi. And lately, Gurudev was so merciful or is so merciful to teach us in any situation when our feelings are not in the right way. What does it mean? that the feelings are not in the right way, when they are not increasing even the love of all our other brothers and sisters, when they are not increasing the pain of our brothers and sisters, and when they are not increasing the eagerness of our brothers and sisters. So Nasi Bhav means to be one-pointed in increasing love. And on the highest level, many servant does this for Mohan. But here we are also practicing this between each other to increase our love for each other, to increase our respect for each other and to help each other when we are not in the right mood. Then another Darcy comes and she has the fragrance of Swamini's mercy and she says, be eager, Swamini is around the corner. She is watching us right now. But this is only possible when we have some saiba. That means a fixed consciousness of my spiritual identity. And that spiritual identity has been given to me by my Gurudev, who is also fixed in his Dasiba to Swamini. And thus, teaching me how to become very reliable Dasi of Srimati Radha. And I'm practicing this also with all my sisters on the same path to balance each other, to increase love, and to lift up the spirit of service and faith.
So this is a uh, they must give bliss to Krishna. Who is bliss personified? They made servant, Radhika's made servants are the instruments in Mahabharata. So this is instrument. It's very interesting, important. Instrument has only one design. Instrument serve only pleasure of master who is owner. So Manjari is Lord. Manjari is master is Swami. So Manjari's intention is one point. How to please Radha and Radha's more. So Radhika desire or Radhika's symptom. Radhika give pleasure to Krishna. But whatever Krishna desires, Radhika could fulfill that desire. So the instrument or also same desire. So therefore, Radhika's maid servant must give, give please to Krishna on behalf of Radhika. Not on desire. So this is one point on this of Radhika's maid servant. Instrument, instrument cannot give any voice. No, 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 no. You are instrument cannot give himself voice. Mm. 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 No. Okay. Yes. So Gurudev said, instrument does not give his own voice. So instrument voice is Swamini's voice. Instrument even not can play himself. No. <laughs> then, Gopika is playing with Raja, then it's noise. Somebody when play is to be noise. So <laughs> you the sound. Yes. I explain that. Yes, instrument does not have own desire, own words. Just according to master, prayer, instrument dance, give sound. Prema makes us dance. So Swamini make how may the servant dance? So this instrument does not have own desire, does not have own voice, just like shadow. Instrument follow, but ever Swami, master, mistress, desire. Pray, pray, pray. So like uh, us, we try to be made servant of the Swamini. So our Guru Dev is Swamini's instrument. Very dear uh, Manjari, made servant of Swamini. So we also follow our Gurudev Guru Manjari. At that time, 
we should not have own personal desire. Guru Dev used to say, Sharanagati, surrender means give up for sake Give for sake to Guru Dev's lotus feet. They can handle this, but purify us. It is impossible to purify our whole self. So how Guru Dev is merciful? How Swamini is merciful upon us? Yesterday. Yesterday is merciful. Yes, yesterday is merciful. Oh, therefore, instrument of Ishtadeva also merciful. The true Guru Dev. Instrument. When she will be to back me to pray, we will create us. Yes. So Guru Dev is instrument instrument of Swamini. So we we must follow like shadow. So this bus very interesting. The male servant of Radhika, their instrument is Mahababa. Mahababa's hand. It also means if we do without love, we have to show that. We are out of tune, so, yes. Andare Nitai, Bahare Nitai. Means in Nitai is in the living and non living thing, even in the instrument Nitai is there. <laughs> now you can see Nitai. <laughs> <laughs> Explain. Nitai is everywhere, Guru says, inside and outside, in the living. And in the non-living means Gurudev as Nitai's instrument also. Gurudev, not Nitai say. <coughs> not bring Gurudev there. Nitai is there. What Nitai? Nitai is the who is the Radha's Dasi. Nitai as Radha's Dasi, Ananga Mantri, is also watching. How this aspiring Darcy is developing and making us perfect instruments, teaching us, helping us to become empty. Empty means ready to be played. And the material the harmonium is the material living and non living. Is the material totally. But by her prayers, it becomes living because harmonium is giving sound of she wants to play. That is living. So, Gurudev says this, like for example, an harmonium is completely material, but her playing it makes it alive. Like if Swamini is taking us as her Dasi and is playing us, we become. Alive in our svarupas, in our spiritual identity. And Gopi Kriti said, if we are not in tune, we are not in tune with love. If the instrument doesn't play in tune, it is useless. <laughs> so we become alive by being played by Nitai, by Ananda Mantri's mercy, and being tuned in that way to play in the orchestra of Swamini's. Servant, Darcy, Yes. The is only the Mandari and Saki. Nita is a Mandari and a Saki. <laughs> because I don't know the and Saki. Mandari and Saki is Nita. That is the beauty of Nita. <laughs> Helping us in our Mandari bar, but also 
the systems family and our services. Yeah, yeah, no. Search fast, you just confirmed. <laughs> they always come at the right moment. <laughs> Ananda Manjari is a totally connected. She is so connect connected, 108 percent. Not see out of Radhika. And she sees nothing out of Radhika. They are again. That is the glory and the greatness of Radhika's main servants. They must give bliss to Krishna, who is bliss personified. They are the instruments in Mahababa's hands. After consoling Shyam, the maid servant brings him to Srimati's kunj, <laughs> where Srimati is also overjoyed by smelling Shyam's fragrance. She praises the wind, saying, Oh, Gandhavaha, oh, carrier of sense, what austerities did you perform to be able to touch the most precious fragrance of Sri Gokula Chandra's beautiful limbs? I would also have performed such austerities if I knew that I would attain such great fortune through it. Shira Rupa Goswami writes in Ujwarani Ramini, One of the signs of Anurag is that the lover so strongly desires to meet the beloved that he or she is willing to take birth even as a dead object. The maid servant has accomplished the meeting of the eager couple. Srimati is most pleased with her service and feels that she should give her some reward. Shyama Sundara lovingly puts some of his chewed field betel nuts in Radha's mouth. But Srimati makes a dirty face and says, Yuck! I will not eat the remnants of this lusty boy who kisses hundreds of different girls and spits the remnants out, of, out on a leaf that is lying outside of the bower house. <coughs> that is a delicious reward for her maidservant. <laughs> This is the mercy of Swami. What she can say is that this is story to give to her Dasi. But if that she cannot throw uh, Krishna's remnants in, uh, directly to her, but she makes a face and otherwise it would be a parade. <laughs> but she makes a face like something is wrong, and then this is the way how she makes up the story to give the remnants, both of them, <laughs> made <so. laughs> That is Parakiyabha. It's not directly, it's always hidden. 
give so many kisses, others will come to give to my mouth. He's kissing so many other women and he gives to my mouth. And why is so good? Because this mess servant bring Krishna to his room. He cannot come alone without bringing Krishna's uh, idea. Swamini is so happy because the maid servant brings Krishna to her corner. She cannot do herself to do that. She needs the maid servant because she has to hide. And she was anger also. She was angry before that. So that's why also maid servant had to make him a little bit more eager. Not already. That was Swamini's desire. <laughs> so, Gurudev, can we say that if we become the instruments of love, then these, these uh, feelings will come through us like a channel. <laughs> yeah, this is the point. The beauty of Manjari Bar. Can I ask You want to be an instrument? Yes, Ramanish has a question. Um, I'm just thinking um, that Krishna gives not just but the the solemnness is directly from Nagara. So Manjari doesn't want to it because it's not the solemnness of the Nagara. Um, I just thinking um, the the lemonets that that lemonets is from Krishna Dala. So Manjali doesn't want it if the uh, the Radha like doing like yeah and then um, is it like just directly from the Krishna? Yeah, so I just thought the Manjali is always want uh, the lemonets from Radha. So this time is up uh, from the Krishna's lemonets, but they don't want it. Or uh, this this Vida maybe they will take. Just yeah, you are right. I agree. <laughs> She never take uh, my reverence that of his mother. He takes a true Radha. But in the front of this Krishna, you said, in the front of Krishna, he wants to give. She is so excited that Manjali prayed to Krishna. She wants to give because she will give the Manjali bring the gift for you. She is not going to wait for that gift, I think. That would be the stuff to do. But she has love Yeah, 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 yeah. She has a Yeah. But uh, she showed that uh, it's in her mouth then. It's so two dirty mouth. You are because you feel so many girls. So and uh, that is garbage for me. Yes, we say it's a gift for me. Express. Yes. So, Radhika takes only Mohan's remnant. Manjari taking only Radhika's remnant. Manjari does not take direct remnants of Mohan. No, no way. So Radhika, his nature is Bamya. Bamya means very contrary, like a little bit to what I say, left wing. You know, like uh, internally. Very happy, <laughs> but externally behave different way. 
So, Radhika says, Radhika yeah. <laughs> oh, you are, you are enjoying so many ladies' mouths. No, I'm just a lady. I cannot take your remnant. And then spit on the leaves. And then give it to Manjari. Because Radhika is appreciate Manjari Seva. Because Manjari bring Mohan into the Kunja. So then Radhika could meet Mohan. So she's internally so much happiness, but externally behave different way. This is Parakya. This is, parakya. This is nature of Radhika. And that mood of Bamya, you know, like a, like a dirty face and dirty words, give so much pleasure to Krishna. No. <laughs> Manjari never see, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I say, like in Vaikuntha or even Dwaraka, many devotees glorify Krishna. You know, or, or like Naraya or Dwaraka Desh. Then Krishna is is tired for glorification. <laughs> so, but if if Gopi or you know or, or Radha or Manjari give some little bit dirty words to Krishna, Krishna, <laughs> good, very good spice, very very. <laughs> What is it? Very hot spice. You know, sometimes people like to take hot spice. Chili pickle. Chili pickle, especially India. <laughs> or some also, Japanese also. We have curry, very hot curry. They know this is very hot. <laughs> but that they want to taste. <laughs> like a trema, it is say, trema is like a nectar, and the poison is mixing like <laughs> Like if some ice put on the, our, our skin, ice is too cold, but we feel too much hot. Yeah, like a bunny. So this is symptom of prema. It is same. So Mohan is tasting that nectar and the poison. I will read this again just to make it clear. Shyama Sundara lovingly puts some of his two betel nuts in Radha's mouth. But Srimati makes a dirty face and says, Yuck! I will not eat the remnants of a lusty boy who kisses hundreds of different girls and spits the remnants out on a leaf that is lying outside of the power house. That is her delicious reward for her maidservant. Another meaning of the word prashad in this text is in order to do some service. The divine couple may lovingly order the maidservant to do some service. Chilanara Tondas Thakur is singing. On their order, I will bring 
different excellent flowers and I will hear their sweet words. In the line Sanketa Kunjam Anupalavam, the word Anu means in every kunj. The play bed is crushed, and Shumati tells her maid servants with a wink from her eyes, make a new play bed in the grove. So on Swamini's order, the maid servant makes a new bed in the kunj with tender sprouts. In this way, the Rasika couple wanders from kunj to kunj, playing freely like a pair of elephants, and the maidservant is blessed with serving them wherever and whenever it is required, while she can witness the sweet pastimes at the same time. Yes. For David is too much. Say that here the Naratanga's words and songs are so important, and he also is played like an instrument. So you are actually then you understand him is a all important to be. And then when we are this is connected with uh, and we read Brother Sudanidi and we read uh, Prema Bhakti Chandrika, we feel the connection. How this is all like one beautiful connection of Rasika explanations and deep, deep feelings that we can learn how to enter them. Now the vision disappears. And Sri Pat laments, I am sitting here desiring such services. Please make the tree my desire is to become an instrument of radicals. And this desire stop over that how to be a just how to be an instrument and not my own uh, melodies anymore. I cannot play my own melodies when I'm an instrument, right? I am a puppet. Instrument means I am a puppet. I how she will play me, I will dance. How she will play me, I will dance. I'm a puppet. I'll see you bring the other. Before I was playing, and I was dancing. Now I want to not to play. I somebody will play my song. They will play, and I will want to be a puppet doctor. Yes, good. Day. He says before I was playing, and I think in this moment, good. Day, Ford's ego was playing, and I was dancing to Ford's ego. And now 
When Swamini is playing, then I am her puppet and I will follow all her arrangements and all the services that she wants. And Nitai or Nanga Mandra is preparing us for this to become empty, to become ready, and to become an instrument in Swami's hands. I see two persons playing night night play. One is when Gopika plays. She is meditating that Very nice. Very nice bird. Yes. To become student. Who says he's watching how devotees are playing instruments and he is saying that when he sees how Gopika is playing, he feels that she is like absorbing herself to be an instrument and she likes that it's a natural way to play. And Japanese devotee is a Maha Bhakti Himagiri. What is the name of her? Ananda Mai. Ananda Mai. And one is Ananda Mai in the group. She's coming, you will see that. She plays like this. And, and she plays like she is guided, like an instrument. She is fully absorbed in intuition and playing naturally. Very, very good. He said, I so much attracted with her playing with Ranga, I cannot say it. And when Gurudev feels this mood of being an instrument, he becomes so attracted. He says, I cannot explain how attracted I become by naturally playing in the mood of an instrument of love. That is the beauty of my Oh, Radhe, without your mercy, the tree of my desires cannot be a fruit. Therefore, Sri Radhika, Mai Videhi Kripaku Kata Sri Radhika, cast your merciful glance on me. Well, this is very interesting. So this is very nice dance, nice uh, boy. Or are they? Who is that your mercy? The tree of my desires. Cannot bear fruit. So, without the mercy of energy of Krishna, Pradini Shakti of Krishna, the tree of my desires. Cannot bear fruit. Not only, not only my desire, even Krishna's desire cannot fulfill, cannot bear fruit. So, yesterday we are discussing with Gurudev. Yesterday was uh, Uddhava, Uddhava Ji, Uddhava Maharaj, is, is experienced so nicely about, about Bhagavad Gita. He explained ninth chapter, I think 19th chapter, is Radhika's verse. So, 
Like Krishna, Krishna control, control everything. Then I I could understand, I could feel. Yesterday I told the Guru Devan as a devotee. For example, Guru Dev want us to clean the Mahadeva temple or a paint of Mahadeva temple. So Guru Dev can say, but the Guru Dev does not work. Guru Dev devotee, his disciple, servant will do this clean, cleanness or painting. Like a like a Colombian devotee, Kabi, Kabi Grapuna Pabu, they are painting, right? So that means all devotee of Guru Dev is Guru Dev's energy. So without the energy, Guru Dev cannot do anything. So similarly, Krishna may be sleeping wrong. But Krishna needs to help. Without his energy, but the help of Radharani, he cannot create, he cannot maintain, he cannot annihilate, he cannot do anything. So I'm thinking, without Radhika, we cannot understand Krishna. But without Radhika, or radical energy. Krishna cannot do anything. <laughs> like, you know, Krishna <laughs> is... Like, uh, say, it is say, Krishna... <laughs> Lift up Govardhan here. <laughs> but actually, it is not true. <laughs> Radhika's presence, <laughs> Radhika gives power to Krishna <laughs> to lift Govardhan. <laughs> Radhika gives sidelong glance to Krishna. <laughs> Then Krishna, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> if without Radhika, without the help of energy of Radhika, Krishna cannot do anything. <laughs> so therefore, Krishna needs the mercy of Radhika. Krishna needs the mercy of maid servant of Radhika. Otherwise, Krishna cannot meet Swamini. <laughs> so therefore, this, this sentence, I think, is very important. Without Radhika's mercy, our desire, not only spiritual desire, but any desire, cannot bear fruit. If desire, spiritual desire, if we want to be Radhika's maid servant, if Radhika give us the mercy, that desire bear the fruit. Thank you. Jai Ho! Just very short.
The sentence is saying without your heart, it's not me. The, the tree of my desires will not bear fruit. So it just came in my heart as Jadharan is Dasi, what is what is my tree? What is the fruit? So my desire as your May servant is to serve you. That's the tree of my desire. And we cannot bear fruit if you want. Give me your plans because I don't know what is my seva. Wow. So please tell me, show me with your eyes what can I do for you now? Without that mercy for plans, I'm standing here and I'm not useful for you. So please just take a uh, this is uh, so after hearing Gopika uh, Diddy's uh, word, very impressed. Then uh, I remember the uh, success I only desire your 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 seven. You may disappear in my vision. You may treat very harshly. You may give me so much difficulty, <laughs> but you are my Lord. My desires on the your, your, your service. So this Gopikandi explain the manjari made servant is mood. This is uh, we want to learn from her. Yes, Gopika, if Krishna needs Radhika's sidelong glance to be successful in his uh, actions, then what to speak of us? All we are the mercy cases of her sidelong glance. So we also need a mercy to be able to do what she likes us to do. No, she is that That is my desire to be a hero that she has to grow. It has to grow. This desire she has to grow. Yes. I know that's what I mean. Yes. This is my desire. The desire tree is that my 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 uh, desire is that I am your dasi will grow. This grow is my desire. And then the food comes that I can serve you in my soul. When you revive me. This is my desire. And good day, no? Chaitanya Charitamrita. Chaitanya Trita. So after hearing what Kadi was, Chaitanya's radical. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, this fruit means prema. But actually, not only prema, no solo. This is this is babulas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> When the desire tree grows, Baba Lazarati will become the special Sai Baba fixed feelings 
of mantras of thoughts. That is the growing of the tree, and that's the fruit, Guru. Yes. The plants or the fruit will not come if the tree has not fully grown. Oh Radhe, without your mercy, the tree of my desires cannot be a fruit. That is the tree of my desire. No other desire. My desire to my plant can be a tree. My mandiri bhav becomes bigger and bigger like a tree. My desire is that my mandiri bhav becomes so big like a big strong tree, what it says. That is my desire to do. And the fruit will be when you, Swamini, cast your merciful glance on me and I can do the service. I become your instrument and you use me in the way. And the fruit of love will come and also the fixed Dasi bath. And fruit of love is my power. And that fruit is the Bhavaula Sadhati. Yeah. Your happiness is my happiness. Your happiness is my happiness. That is Baba Ula Sarati. When you are happy, I am happy. And that is what I do. That I desire to make you happy. I remember Sri Radhika's foot dust that showers torrents of natural, wonderful bliss, and for which I gave up my friends and relatives, the best spiritual practices, and all desires for wealth and other personal happiness forever. According to Sri Rupa Goswami, one of the symptoms of a Baba or Rati devotee is that he is bound by firm hope. Sri Prabodhananda Saraswati lives in the kingdom of Mahabharata. So, we cannot even imagine how strong his hopes are. Buddha tells Sri Krishna in Srimad Bhagavad, Oh Lord, none of the four goals of human lives, like religiosity, economic development, sense gratification and liberation, are difficult to attain by those who serve your lotus feet. But nevertheless, I do not desire them, for I am eager simply to serve your lotus feet. This is the nature of Sri Krishna's devotees. But Sri Pad Prabhadananda is a maid servant of Srimati Radharani. He does not even desire Govinda's service or to speak of any other kind of fulfillment. In this verse, Sri Pad says, I remember the lotus feet of Sri Radhika that showers torrents of natural. Wonderful bliss. It is natural or sahaj because there is not a whiff or a prowess of, of majesty Aishwarya in it. It is purely sweet. Natural. Natural. 
Normal position means natural position. That you can understand. Mm. Unnatural position is very difficult to understand. We listen, but we don't understand. But natural, we need to understand. So this can be understood. The natural. And at, at Uta or amazing does not mean in a frightening way, but in such a blissful way that it causes a thrill. Then the spiritual world is sweet and the material world is sweet. Yeah. That is beyond duality, Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> material body also useful. And then all circumstances material become All becomes positive. So that is my name of your heart you are living in 11 years, 28 years. Means, Guru says, Manjari Pav means we are always young, always living in 11 years, 12 years. And always everything we see positive. Yeah. Govinda is sweet. Govinda. And Sri Radha is sweet. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Krishna is sweeter than sweet, and even sweeter than that, and even more sweet than that. A single drop of that sweetness pervades all the three worlds, flowing in all ten directions. An inquisitive person once asked a great saint, I have taken the foot dust of many great souls upon my body, but still I did not attain love for God. The great saint slightly smiled and said, you may have smeared that dust on your body, but you should also smear it on your mind and on your heart. So, I'm trying to explain it a little bit. So, we may smear the dust on our body. But here, Baba said, oh no, this is saint to say, great saint to say, you should also smear some of it on your mind and on your heart. The question arises. What do you mean? Smear it on your mind, on your heart. It's my understanding, my feeling. Is to get that mood, that feeling of that dust. So if we want to get to Dashi Baba, Radhika's Medo Saban, then the dust, Sumia means we, we should get that feeling of made servant or mood of made servant. That smear 
this the kind of this sumia like a holy days so each person you know put other people color it on your face or body so please take my feet <laughs> I want to smear your feeling. Mahaprabhu also smear that feeling of radical. So Krishna want to smear that mood, that feeling of radical. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This, I lead this bus. So I'm feeling, so taking, smearing that feeling and mood. So why we leading this uh, Virata uh, Sastanidhi. Or Virata Sumanji. We want to take, we want to smear that mood of Chinkari or Medu Sabad or Radhika. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, oh, oh. <coughs> Yes, what is the use to go to many holy places and take the dust on the head, but not changing my mind and my heart in a loving way to stay always externally desiring to get blessings, maybe for more material fulfillment or maybe divine love, but not knowing how to come into the feeling of service of Shema Piradika. Then this divine love is like a general uh, feeling of being religious. That is often very possible. We go to holy places, we want to see the Takujis, we want to leave our sins there, we want to be purified, but we don't develop a relationship or a feeling. So that is putting it on our mind and our heart. It reminds me very strongly of this verse what we have just turned the last week, oh saintly mind. And Gurudev goes in depth how to explain what is the saintly mind and how to attain a saintly mind and how to check if my mind is saintly or if my mind is still in Arta Dharma Karma Moksha. That is a big difference and that is to be checked by myself. It is natural that when I develop a relationship with my Ishtadev, that I cannot, uh, in the beginning, I don't know the difference between the subtle understandings of religion and deep relationship that is reciprocating. and <laughs> You understand the difference of surrender to Guru and surrender to Ishta? Guru is asking. Yes, it is uh, not external, it becomes internal Guru. The Guru is showing the way, but if the Guru becomes the goal, yes. Guru Vato. The words of the Guru, we are imbibing, we really digest and we want to follow in that mood. 
When this Sharanagati comes through and says, personal surrender in a personal relationship, then the words of the Guru will be like a root in my heart. Nobody can take this out anymore. It will be deeply in there and guide me one point. And the Sharanagati Gurudev explains is to leave my false ego at the lotus feet of Gurudev who is loving me so much that he takes all the poison of these illusions out of my heart so that Ishtadev can be fixed there. And then Ishtadev can come. When the poison is there, the false ego and all this desires for name, profit, distinction, all these, you know, all these useless things, then the Ishtadev, Ishtanishta cannot come. And without Ishtanishta, no Swarupnishta. And somebody say, I am a Radha Dasi Manjari liar. Someone say, Someone say, someone may say, like myself, I am a Radha Dasi. But Guruji said, this Manjari. Is, Manjari, I am. My, Manjari. We are all Manjari. Yes. He's a lip. People curse. But this is a very external, even cheating mentality. We can be hypocrites if it's not deeply going with giving up my false ego, surrendering to the lotus feet of my Gurudev, all this poison. Then it starts to become artificial. And the Paravalmas Gurudev that I don't even know because I think it is true. Yeah, that is the problem. Huh? That, that is, is the problem. problem that I don't know because I think I'm doing it right. But Gurudev is so merciful, showing us the poison of the ego. He's taking it. He says, Give up. I help you. Trust me. Even though I may be happy. Even though it may I'm be painful, I am drinking your poison. I am drinking. I want to drink your poison to send you to step. Then you will understand the much. Gurdu says, even I want to drink your poison so that you can go and deeply relate to your Ishta Devi. Then its real mercy happens, and only then it can flow in a natural way. Otherwise, before that, it is artificially on superficial level. Cheating, cheating, cheating. Cheating, says. Cheating even. Ignorance. <laughs> and we don't want to be cheaters. We want to be honest, real, like <coughs> going through our processes of purification with the help of good. I'll publish the name. And Ishtadev, of course, is arranging this. Sharanagati, that's it. Only Sharanagati Gurudev says, that's it. And Vakya. And trust the Vakya, the words. Follow the words. Follow the words. And that's all. Very interesting. <clears throat> so. If we don't surrender, if we, if we give up for ego, so Gurudev very kindly accept our for ego. For Gurudev, only Gurudev can see our for ego. We cannot see my for ego by myself. That the Guru Dev could see by the mercy of Ishta Dev or his Guru, Guru Dev, Guru Manjari. So, this is interesting. Without surrender, we cannot follow Guru Dev's back. 
because no, no. Charnagati, all she go will be there, I will not accept. Mm -hmm. All false. So therefore, this is Sharanagati is very, very important for us. False ego. Yes. Then what to be Amrita? Guru Vakra Amrita. So if we give up false ego, then Gurudev's words is Amrita. But if we have false ego, Gurudev's words is like a bitter, like a poison. No, 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 Gurudev, I cannot accept you. Your... But if we surrender, Gurudev's words become sweet and sweet. One day, Gurudev said, if you get to Ishta Nishta and Swarupa Nishta, then you can appreciate Gurudev more and more. Then cry. How Gurudev is merciful? Without mercy, Gurudev, we cannot advance even little bit. But unless we can attain Swarpanishta and Ishtanishta, this realization or maybe understanding may be superficial. That Gurudev is saying. So we are thinking, oh, I'm surrendering, oh, I do Shananagati. Really? Can you check to your heart? You, don't you have material desire? Don't you have Rava Puja Pratista? Rava means some kind of profit. So, you know, I want to get some money. Money is like uh, honey. If I get the money, I'm very happy. And puja means, oh, I'm a great person. You should worship me. Don't you understand my position? So this kind of desire. So pratista means, don't you know? I'm very special person. I'm such and such Guru Dev disciple, direct disciple. You know, I'm Sanyashi, I'm temple president. I born very aristocratic family, aristocratic family. This is poison. So we have to check in my heart. But we have a tendency to check others. Oh, you have this bad thing in your heart. You are, you know, but this is not proper for Raga Bhakta. For Raga Nuga Bhakta, Raga Bhakta, Gurudev used every day, no, you know, always say, check yourself. And only Guru Dev check us. Like, uh, you know, we have like, a, we don't, you know, some has be become very, like, say, some, but heat. So we, we, we check like a Samunita, like a Guru Dev, like a Samunita. You know, you have such ego. <coughs> Give up ego, false ego. Your ego is so strong. You have so much Rabba Puja Pratista. Don't you know? Only Gurudev can see. Other people may see, but they don't say. So how Gurudev is merciful? 
Very amazing. Nada, nada, sí. Oye, mi man. So, Guru Dev is Abhiman. Self identification is Radha Dasi. I'm Radha Dasi. I'm Radha Dasi's maid servant. I'm Kinkari of Radha Dasi. This is Guru Dev is Abhiman. So, therefore, Guru Dev is like a Swamini. Very masterful. Or even more masterful. <laughs> Why is that? Because Gurudev's experience in this material world, how this world is so much suffering. How we feel pain. Will they have experience in this material world? So therefore, will they be so much? That's that's it. That's 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 it. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, today also, Radha Charanda was sharing with me an interesting thing. I would like you to maybe say this to all, how it was when you were sannyasi, and then you come in contact with money, and how you feel it was polluting. <laughs> Uh, when somebody has talked about the bitter poison of all physics, when he when Shabu Lev talked about false ego, how it's bitter and poison, uh, but Guru is drinking, it's a scary job. It's his words reminds me of some situation situations in my life. Many times actually repeated. Then I took uh, money donation from someone, or well, even not taking or uh, explaining something <laughs> in particular mood. Um, I'm exchanging consciousness, and I'm after this. I'm feeling, but my world is changing. It's become white and black, and happiness disappeared. And I feel so much unhappiness. I feel the consciousness of this person how so much bitter in his life, so much crying, and it's coming to me. It's so heavy, and I I thought. If Guru, by heart connection with disciple, his, his situation, I don't know how to do it. I'm not alone, his disciples, so many disciples. And I, I think in this, only by his connection with Shema Teradika is possible. It's a strong connection through Guru uh, with Hara. Only in this way it's possible to, to digest, otherwise it's so bitter. Even little test, I it's so big and so heavy. Actually, after this, I become uh, how to say sick for one week. 